Okay, so you just got done talking to Professor Weasley and Professor Fig. You have Chisel in your house, and now you have your first two classes to attend. You have Dark Arts, and you have Charms class. But before that, I want to show you how to open up the puzzle rooms that will give you loot. These are math puzzles you have to solve. And then once you open up the door, you will get loot. You will get a collectible and also a gear item. So I just got done talking to Professor Weasley and Professor Fig. We are at the beginning of the game. And the very first puzzle room I want to show you do, 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 is down these stairs on the other side of the fountain. So you can see right here in the bottom right corner, there is this room. Now you can see icons above the door. Now there are 10 different icons. You will use these icons to open up the door. Now you can see there's one die right here with one question mark. And you have to find the other die. Um, so what I do is I hit Revelio, And then you can see it up there. So it'll show you the two locations and it'll show you the door. In fact, it'll show you the two chests that are located in that room as well. But if we run upstairs, you will see the other die right here with the two question marks. Now, there is a process of elimination strategy I use to open up this door. So the way to open up this door, and there are going to be numerous doors like this all throughout Hogwarts. So you can use this exact strategy for all of the doors. So first you have to reveal, boom, and then it'll show you. You're trying to find the one question mark and then the double question mark, right? So just to hit open, you, that is the locked sound, okay? Now you can do this and there are five different icons. After the fifth icon, it goes back to the question mark. So what I did to figure out how to do this and how to unlock it, what I did is I went to this further die up here and then I just uh, put it on some random icon. You can see there's a three-headed serpent. And then what I did is I would come down here and I would just change the bottom die over and over and over until I used all of the options. And if it didn't open the door, I would go up top and change the top one and then come back down and do it again. So for example, I would hit this, it's locked. I'd change the icon, still locked. Now I'm not changing that top icon and this is how you do process of elimination. Now I know for a fact what the combination is to open this door but I just wanted to at least tell you how I did it. Now this is going to be the combination for this particular door. So it's spider at the bottom, and then that three-headed serpent up top. Let me show you one more time. And boom, there it is, that three-headed serpent. Okay, now that's going to be the combination for this first puzzle door you ever see in Hogwarts. Now there will be more doors like this all throughout Hogwarts, so just use this strategy and you'll be able to do it. And then here you go. This is what it looks like when you open it up. And then you will have the two chests. So the big chest will be a gear item. Boom. Oh, nice uh, desert scarf. And then the little chest will be a collectible. There we go. Nice little stuffed toy dragon. But all right, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to open up these puzzle doors. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Hit that like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Hogwarts Legacy video. Now stay tuned. I'll show you a couple more clips of me opening up different doors. And then I'll get you out of here. Alright, take care everyone. Peace. And we have stumbled across our first, um, what, like puzzle door? Let's see here. Reveal. Looks to be some sort of math equation or math puzzle. You go to open it. It will not open. It shows you have to fill in two blanks. One has one question mark and one has two question marks. Now here's your first question mark right here. Now it says roll. So you're treating this like a die. 
And then when you roll this, you have one, two, three, four, five different options. And then it resets again to the question mark. Now, if you do Revelio, you can see the door and then the two, you know, the, the two locks on that door. Now you have to get both of these locks right. So Revelio, and you can see the next one is right there above us. So I'm gonna come over here. Now this one's further away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change the die to the very first option. And then I'm gonna do process by elimination. So then do the first option and then try to open it. No, next option. Now there's only five options and then you can go to the next one. And then you're gonna be able to do this for all of the doors. Now it just reset, okay? So when it resets, you go to the other die and then you roll it to the next icon, okay? And then you come back down and then you test out each five of the options. There we go, one. And this is a pretty easy, you know, process by elimination strategy. Now we know this is the combination right here. So spider at the bottom. And then up top is the three-headed serpent you can see right there, okay? Now whenever you have broken or cracked the code, when you go to hit open, these uh, equations will disappear. So here we go, boom. Now when it opens, it will have two different prizes for you. It'll have a big chest with a gear item, and then it will have a little chest with a collectible. So here we go. Oh, just got a dark flat cap for my gear item. And then for the collectible, well, we have a collectible tower. Very nice. Now you can use this strategy for all of the puzzle doors. I'm probably gonna call them math puzzle doors to loot rooms, something like that. Regardless, you can see the strategy here firsthand on how to crack it. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Hit that like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and enjoy Hogwarts Legacy. Peace.